Good morning, I'm going to do a recap of yesterday for Paula. Paula, we missed you, and one of these days we're gonna just pick a time just for Paula. Uh, okay, so we started off by talking about our tools, and Tino started by saying that, that he has uh, thought that his tool is uh, to see meditation as his discipline. And uh, I don't know, the way that he phrased it and, and, and talked about it, I could see that that was really uh, just exactly what, what uh, fit for him. And we all need ways to encourage ourselves to take time to meditate, and his tool was discipline. Not discipline in the, in the old fashion, but having the discipline. All right, so Lynn's was uh, of the feeling of, of uh, that she gets when she uses her crystals and deep breath and having everything feel all one, not just complete herself, but being connected with all people and all things. It was beautiful the way she said it. Kari's was that she visualized and when she visualized the center, then she could go to the center and that she had a tingling sensation and that uh, she could just go there. And and it was it was really captivating the way she said it. Linda's went, uh, her tool went along with her thoughts from the inside saying that she could move from the outer to the inner with the rhythm of the breath and the rhythm of the heartbeat and the rhythm of her feet. Footfall. And so it was beautiful the way she said it. And she also added that she's getting very good at moving from the outside to the inside. And there's nothing better to hear than that. All right, let's see. Jill's uh, was precious. She was talking about using the fire breath and how that is one of her tools, but also that she put a tool, a tool, a crystal in her pocket over the holidays. And every time she would touch it, she would think about moving inside and, and releasing and letting go of resistance. She didn't say all that, but that's what I think she was saying. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's see. Who am I? Um, I talked about Lynn, Tino, Linda, Cheryl. Cheryl's was um, uh, that she thought of a time that, um, let's see, let me get this straight. She picks a time, 1030 was the time, that she goes to meditate, and that was her tool. And uh, Cheryl has explained to us how she really has to uh, overcome resistance to doing something else because the character that wants to keep track of the outside is pretty strong. And her uh, uh, page from Thoughts from the Inside was about that as well, and and she's so precious and and it's so honest about everything, and that makes that makes us all smile to hear somebody just tell their truth, and that's Cheryl. Um, okay, so I mentioned my uh, tools as being uh, kind of in priority, or priority, no, uh, but in a list uh, from top to bottom, with self-talk being the strongest tool that I use. And um, I really think that self-talk needs to be included in everybody's routine. It's when you've got something going on, self-talk's the way to go. And uh, then the fire breath for me too is really important to let go, then the deep breaths, and then of course meditation. Did I leave anybody out? Tino, Lynn, Cheryl, all right, Jill. Okay, so um, I wanna finish quickly so that I can text this. We're going to do the thoughts from the inside again. Pay attention to your tools that you use over the next two weeks. N make note of them. And also I've asked everyone to please comment on Facebook if you can when you listen to a meditation that you particularly like. I'm really trying to encourage some of those people that are members to do more listening. All right, namaste everybody. This is great.